All right, stay passive and stay there. Oh boy. The hell am I getting myself into? Oh shit! We can't, uh. Okay. We can't bolo them. Hopefully, our guy can tank long enough to knock him out. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I'm an old guy, Gaming and in this episode, we are going to get started building our base. Uh, it is night time. I do have the gamma turned up uh, a little bit, maybe a little too high. Uh, let's try gamma 2.5. Um, I think that's, yeah, that's normal. Uh, if uh, if it looks a little dark, maybe when I edit this, I'll, I'll brighten it up a little bit in editing. But, uh, yeah, I mean, nighttime is very, very luminescent uh, in this game at least it is right here i think it d definitely gets darker in the forest uh so anyway we have uh pretty much have all of the main pieces that we need to get started building our base here uh, i myself am now level 49 i just keep leveling like crazy made a couple more tweaks to the settings um as well i, I toned things down a little bit um in in some place, I can't remember where it was, what what it was now, but I, you know, I just kind of continue to tweak things, uh, you know, so that it feels right. Also, I have a set of hide armor on, as you can see here now. So we got that going on, and I've just been making, uh, in addition to all of the uh, building parts, I've made a bunch of spark powder, and I have a lot of charcoal, and so we're going to grab this charcoal and start uh, making up gunpowder because uh, we'll be getting into some firearms here pretty quick. I've just been burning uh, wood in the campfires and in the forge for that purpose. So let's move all of this stuff into here, and then we're just going to start making up, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that, a uh, whole bunch of gunpowder. Okay, cool, so we got that going on. And, uh, all right, so I uh, I'm i going to build the house right in this spot here. I think uh, this is a good spot for it. And uh, so let's go ahead and start by grabbing the foundations that we have in, actually, I guess I have those in the smithy. Um, so we're going to do a three by three uh, little shack. It's not going to be anything uh, super fancy, uh, but just enough to, you know, to get us going here. And uh, let's see if we put... You right about there. That's probably pretty good. We'll maybe line it up with the tree there. And the nice thing about Survival Ascended is when you put a foundation down, it makes the foliage uh, below it disappear, which is just absolutely amazing and something this game has needed for a long time, actually. Uh, so yeah, it just, there it goes, it just disappeared. So, really, really love that feature. Uh, okay, so, we got the foundations down. Let's um, do a save. Sometimes when I press escape to do the save, the game locks up then. I, I continue to have lockups. It's very frustrating. I don't know what to do about it. I didn't have any lockups when I played last Friday, but they came out with a you know, bunch of updates. And I updated my graphics drivers, so I'm not sure which one of those things is causing... Um, you know, the lockups. Probably something to do with the update itself, but I'm not really sure. So, anyway, we'll make the best of it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to make this a... Let's make it a double doorway. And same thing right here. Okay, and then this we will make a window. And this will be a window. And then I think the rest of it will just be normal walls. I like, too, the fact that the the walls are now, um, they're a little bit taller than they used to be in uh, Survival Evolved. So that makes it nice. Because a lot of times you'd have to do like a double shack just to fit everything in some of the taller things like the the large storage bin, for example. Uh, so that's a very nice change. Uh, you know what I didn't do, though? Darn it. I made the single 
I made the single doors, not the double doors. Uh, all right, yeah, you know what? We can pick this up, right? Yeah, pick that up. We'll just go with the single doors, because again, I'm not trying to get too fancy with this particular base, uh, since it's just our starter base. So we'll go with normal doorways. Excellent, okay, we got that done. Now what we're gonna do is, um, well, one of the things I tweaked is I, I, I tweaked the day cycle and the daytime. I thought the day was lasting too long. Um, so I did tone that down a little bit. Keep looking in the wrong place there. Okay, so let's grab the doors. And then we want, uh, let's do these next after we put the doors in place. And I'm going to make um, a little stairwell, stairway ramp thing thingamadoodle for that too. So that door can go there, that door can go there. Nice. Okay, now these guys go there. I'll look at that, it even detects the angle it needs to go to. That is, that's fantastic, man. Very good. Okay, yeah, I need to actually make, yeah, we need to make two more walls uh, for that piece there. So let's see, let's grab some of that and some of this and some of this and we'll go crafting and grab two walls for the eaves there. Okay, let's do another save. Very good. Put that there, that there, we'll just do the the little flat roof thing since um well actually does does this have a triangular piece i don't i don't know maybe it does let's take a look uh, i might be thinking of icarus here i mean i know icarus does for sure let's just make one of these and see no it doesn't appear to have any um extra any extra thing to it so okay we'll just demolish that uh get some of the materials back next we're gonna put the ceiling uh ceiling pieces on and we might as well grab these pieces as well and it looks like we got yet another level um, okay, so we're going to put you there, you there. The building works so much better in Ascended. Just a massive improvement over Evolved. Okay, there we go. Our very first uh, little little starter base here, starter hut. Um, let's make ourselves, what's it look like in back here? Yeah, let's make a couple of stairs coming out and, you know, it might be kind of cool to make like a little deck too on the front. I like that idea. So yeah, let's grab some more wood. And I want to, uh, let's see, what are we doing here? Uh, we're at 200 health, 150 stamina. 250 weight. I've been pumping fortitude and melee damage. So let's get fortitude up to 20. And I, I've got a lot of Ingrams uh, to look at too. I want to do some of that with you guys. So I don't want to do all of that off camera. So we'll take a look at those in a bit here. Uh, let's see. Let's make three more of these. And we also need to look at making some rails too. And we want this uh, two more uh, two more of these because these also can be then turned into stairs. Uh, it looks like we might have to go get some more wood. Unless I put some wood in, I may have put some wood in the um, in here. Let's look. Can't remember. A little bit, not a ton. Okay, so let's make. Uh, two of those. Okay, good. And then we need to learn the rails. Save the game. 
go into the Ingram menu and let's go wood quarter wall and railing. Okay, that's the one we want there. Okay, we'll put that there and then cycle it to stairs. And we'll do the same thing out the back here. Yeah, we don't need a, a little porch out the back, just out the front. Cool. Okay, and uh, let's see. Do you guys have any wood on you? I don't think so. I think I emptied them all off. Uh, up. Pretty much just pumping weight on all of the moss chops now. You have two points. I uh, made a trough here, too, as you can see. I don't think I had that in the last episode. Oh, and a preserving bin. So we got that going, too. So all this stuff we're going to move into the house. Um, but it looks like I am indeed out of wood uh, to make the rails. Okay, so I'm going to uh, cut the camera here, uh, go farm up some more wood so we can uh, make the rails, and then that will should complete our, our starter base build. So I'll see you guys in just a bit. Okay, we are back uh, with a load of wood. Uh, one bug that I've noticed here is when my dinos are following me, I can't hear them. So watch this. If I just start running, there's no footsteps, no sound at all, until I turn around and look at them. But as soon as I turn away from them, I can't. I can hear them when they do like their little growl, but I can't hear their footsteps. It's really weird. So hopefully that's another thing they'll fix. Uh, I can't imagine that that's a sound setting because you want to, you know, you want to hear them make sure that they're behind you, which is kind of weird. So anyway, okay, let's get him back over here. Okay, so you've got a load of wood. I also picked up a couple of eggs, which I'm just going to stick in here for now. Save the game. Okay, so we need one, two, we need four rails. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. So there are these things here. So let's make... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's what we want right there. So you can make quarter walls. Huh. All right, cool. Look at that. Pretty nice looking little base there, I'd say. Um, it might look cool if we put a couple of torches down. Uh, more for aesthetics than for actual need of light, since it's so light at nighttime. Of course, I don't know. It might not be light in here inside at night. We'll have to kind of, I guess, wait and see how that goes. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start moving all of my stuff in uh, into the base. When I get that finished, I'll bring you guys back, and then we're going to take a look at our Ingrams and then go out on an adventure. We need to find some crystal, and if I remember right... There's crystal kind of, there might be crystal on the island over there. Um, if not, then I think there's some, you know, further that way up on a, kind of up on a ridge, as I recall. Um, so anyway, yeah, let me get uh, stuff situated here. We'll bring you back and then we'll go, we'll go on that little adventure. All right, guys, we are out uh, getting metal and this is... Our first drop, it's a white drop, but let's see what it has in it. And yeah, we'll take the wall torch and we'll take that stuff. Uh, don't uh, don't need the campfire. Cool, okay, so we got our first wall torch. Um, I think I've solved the crashing problem. Um, I 
have not been uh, up till now I was not running the game with battle eye because you know I don't need to it's a single player game but I figured well let me try it and see if that makes any difference and it sure enough did as soon as I turned battle eye on uh, I seem to be stable now I haven't crashed at all uh, since I turned that on so hopefully that trend will continue on what the hell's going on over there I think I guess that's a dead fish or something uh, so anyways I got the dudes with me and um, I came out to get some more metal because I wanted to make this table for the uh, oh look at this I want to make the table for the um, the house and uh, so yeah got some more metal there most likely the hatchet's probably the best thing to harvest these with or what we could do is um, let's see harvest settings enable harvest resources oh wow they got 322 chitin out of that one bite okay yeah Definitely want to use these guys for harvesting uh, trilobites for sure. <laughs> Goodness gracious, look at all that. That's amazing. Um, okay, what level is this trike here? Uh, just level 16, okay. Alright, well, you know, um, I'm just going to leave them alone for the time being. And... Yeah, all right, so I'm going to head back to the base, uh, finish the base up, and then we're actually going to go up the river uh, towards the volcano because I saw a raptor down there, and uh, if that raptor's still around, we might see if we can tame it. I have no idea what level it is because I don't have a spyglass yet, and that's also going to be along the way to getting some crystals. So I'll see you guys back at the base. Back, and I have finished uh, the base here, so this is what the outside of it looks like. We uh, made a up... What happened to that table? Oh my goodness, that's hilarious! I I had made a table when I I pressed the mouse button to set it down and I heard a click and I couldn't tell where the hell it went, uh, so I ended up making another one. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Okay, um, so anyway, yeah, we've got ourselves uh, a loft up here. I got a bed in place. Um, I wonder if we could pick this up and grab the the table. Wait, where did it go? Oh, maybe we uh, destroyed it by picking that roof up. Nope, it's right here. Okay. Oh my goodness, how funny is that? Um, so yeah, let's put this back here. If I can get it to behave. Come on, Ark, don't be doing that stuff. What the hell? Okay, hold on. I must have put it on the back. Bass backwards. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, what if we put it like flip it that way? There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's what it looks like on the outside. You guys already saw the porch and the rails. Uh, I put the the forge out here. We'll probably make another forge too. I made a campfire uh, and put that. In, or no, I'm sorry, not a campfire. A fireplace to put in here just because it makes things a little bit more cozy. Smithy's here. We got storage along that wall. We got a couple of um, preserving bins. And then this table over here uh, is for our mortar and pestle. Uh, so that should set us up pretty good for our starter base. Uh, I did have another crash, uh, but it went. the game went a lot longer than uh, before. And I'm wondering if it has something maybe to do with a DLSS or something like that. Because I you know, was reading on the forums and some people were talking a little bit about that so I don't know um, I, it's just that the game looks so much better with that turned on than with it off but I mean if it if it's a, a persistent problem then yeah I might have to uh, to turn that off I don't know that would suck hopefully they just come out with a patch to fix the damn thing okay anyway uh, we are oh, there we go yep it just it just froze up on me <clears throat> man all right I'll be right back Okay, we're back. Um, I'm gonna go into the settings, uh, go here. Uh, let's turn this NVIDIA Reflex low latency off and see if that makes any difference at all. I don't even know exactly what that does. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, I really don't wanna turn DLSS off um, unless it, 
you know, uh, like I said, unless I just narrow it down to that being the actual problem. All right, well, let's just see, you know, how much further we can go for the next crash. All right, I'm gonna put all this stuff in here. So let's see, I've got a hundred trank arrows. We've got uh, five bolas there. Why don't we uh, repair this? Um, let's see if we need some fiber. Okay, and then um, we have some narcotic, but I don't. I doubt we would need that. Uh, I got into a scrap with some trikes and killed the trikes, and also sent the babies to heaven too. <laughs> it's just terrible uh, to say it, but you know, it's it's just a game, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, I got a bunch of prime meat, but it just it spoils so damn fast. You know, um, even even putting it in here, it spoils fast. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to go see if we can get that raptor that I saw. I, again, I have no idea what level it is, but the plan is to just bolo it and then knock it out um, and see how that goes. And if we f happen to find a, uh, you know what, too, I'm going to leave these two moss chops here because they won't fight uh, on their own they just run away and so I'm just gonna park him here I, I've never seen any predators up here except for uh, you know ichthornis I don't know if you technically call them a predator they're more of a scavenger uh, so yeah we'll leave these two guys here because they're not gonna fight and that way, if we just completely get our ass handed to us, at least we still have these two moss chops. This one's pretty tough, though. This is our high level, and then these guys will fight. And I have been pumping their their health up, too. Obviously, you know, they're not going to stand up to something big like a T-Rex or whatever, but they could probably hold their own with a, a um, you know, low to mid-level raptor, especially with the moss chops, uh, me on the moss chops. All right, let's uh, go into here, and uh, I've been doing mostly wait on you, but since we are going to use you for some combat, why don't we bump your melee damage up a little more to, <laughs> to 1,300? My goodness, that's crazy. That is just nutso. Let's turn, uh, let's put the trank arrows in here. The other nice thing, too, is I can shoot from the back of the moss chop. So if the uh, if the raptor gets out of it, the bolo before we can knock it out, you know, we can still safely shoot it from here and just let the moss chops tank it. At least that's the theory. Anyway, okay, so I saw the raptor down along the river this direction. That was quite a while ago though, and like I said, I have no idea what level it is because I don't have a spyglass yet. But uh, let's see if we can find it or, um, you know, something something to tame so we can start moving up in the world in terms of our critters. Moss chops are great for harvesting and stuff, but of course they're not so good for combat unless I'm controlling them. Um, yeah, so let's take a look around here. I saw the raptor right down this direction, but it, like I said, it was a while ago, so the thing is, too, is we don't particularly want to run into a pack of raptors, because that might not go so well. I need to eat, so let's do that. You gotta wait. Oh, I've got to level up. Okay, so we're gonna get our melee damage all the way to 200. Um, that's gonna be important because um, we are going to, you know, we're gonna have to do caves. Well, we can't use flyers in caves. We'll still take critters in there, but um, 
because we won't be using flyers, you know what? We may get into a situation where we need to do a little more melee damage. Okay, so let's... Let's go this way. I don't think that raptor's around now just because this parasaur would be freaking out. Uh, we can get a flyer too. Uh, what's that over there? Oh, it's just an ichthy. Okay, there's... Uh, looked like a Fiomia was running from something over there. You better stay away from me, Ichthornis. Twelve hundred and forty-nine damage. That is insane, man. Oh, jeez. Um, here. Whoops. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Actually, yeah, I do need to do that first. Oh shit, Sarko. Uh, what did you do? Oh, he pulled me off. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Well, um. My uh, mighty Moz Chops made short work of him. <clears throat> uh, is that another Sarko? Yep. It's, no, that's... Oh, shit. That's a Capro. Not good. Well, he got wrecked, though. No, 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 no. Stay here. Come here. Dang. Okay. That was scary. <laughs> oh, boy. Gotta love Ark, man. Okay. Anyway, uh, the place that that looks like a Baryonyx fighting a turtle over there. Oh, and there's some snakes over there too. You know what? I think I think this kind of gets over starting into the swamp area, which we're really not set up to be going into yet. Ooh, I wonder if we could get some rare flowers from these. Uh, these reed things here are cattails. I've got to... I've got to set you back to harvest. Did we get any? No. I thought... I thought like Ankleos could uh, harvest these and get rare flowers. That is just way too much stuff. Yeah, I've uh, I might need to adjust that a little more. That's just see the thing is is when I'm harvesting by hand because you know I don't have an Anki or a Dodic for stone and wood. It it's just it takes forever, so I kind of bump it up. But when I'm doing it on this guy, it's like insane. Of course, that's because his melee damage is. Absolutely absurd. Uh, anyway, okay. But since we're using him for combat, like I said, um, here, let's give him some health this time. Or her. I keep calling her him. My bad. Okay, so anyway, what I was saying is... We want to kind of go towards the red obby, and I think there's a ridge up there that has some crystal on it. But I don't, hmm, I don't know if I want to cross the water here. Yeah, see, there's another Capro over there. What? What's that guy fighting? I don't know. Oh, a Capro, yeah. Okay, now let's, um, let's go back this way. We'll kind of go back around, then we'll cross over, and then we'll go up into the to the area that I think there's some crystal. I just don't want to get out in this deep water with Sarkos and Capros and all of those nasty guys around.
That Baryonyx is a little concerning. We could, you know, we could try and tame him if he's not super high level. We could bully, bully him and knock him out. Um, yeah, that's a possibility. Just want to get up back this way a little bit more so we don't have a long crossing across this water. Those footprints are awesome looking. Okay, I'm going to take a drink because we're going to be leaving the water here. And let's also do a save. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, so let's um start heading this direction. Um, where is that Baryonyx at? I'm pretty sure our guys can kill him. Oh, there it is, if it comes down to it. But again, it would be nice to, to tame a berry. They would be more versatile than a raptor. But we really need a spyglass so we can see what the hell we're up against. So I can I can pull up from the back of this, right? Yeah, I can. Okay. Alright, let's do this. You guys stay passive. And we have to kill these compies coming in. All right, stay passive and stay there. Oh boy, the hell am I getting myself into? Oh shit, we can't, uh. Okay, we can't bolo them. Hopefully our guy can tank long enough to knock him out. Yeah, he's already running off. Okay, let's chase him. How's our critter self? Eh, he's okay. Where'd he go? What's that noise? Oh, he's out. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. I don't think they have super high torpor. He's a level eight. Okay. Um, do you happen to have any prime from killing that Sarko guy? Either one of you? Oh, we should hang on to that. All right. Um. Oh, that Paraceratherium would have some prime. Not that it matters. I mean, we're not going to... Such a low level hardly makes any difference at all. What are you fighting, though? I can't tell. Oh, Sarko. Okay, we got some prime. Okay, everybody. What's uh what the hell's going on? I can't Stupid bird. Okay. Everybody follow me. Get out of the way, Fiomia. Ok, 
God, I missed the stacking mod. <laughs> okay. Oh no, this guy needs fish, huh? Oh crap, I forgot about that. Okay, um, well he's fine in terms of his torpor. Torpidity. Oh, that's right, we gotta find fish, okay. Um, all right, yeah, let's go, let's go kill some fish. Completely forgot about that. It's probably gonna be piranha. Yeah, here comes some piranha. He doesn't, my guy doesn't harvest, seem to harvest fish or birds for some reason. I don't know why. It's really odd. Okay, that should be enough. Yeah, we'll lose a few levels, but on this guy it doesn't matter because he's already super low level. So it automatically turns the taming tracker thing on, which is kind of cool. And you can also see the torpidity going down for the on that. Get out of here, turtle. Don't mess with my tame. Don't mess with my awesome high level... Eight Baryonyx team. <laughs> the colors are kind of cool, though. These guys are so wicked looking. Oh, I don't know. Maybe because we're playing single player, he'll stand up with, like, 800 melee or something crazy like that. Okay. We're going to call you Barry Berkman. Just like we did in the Fjorder series. Okay. Yeah. He's got over 500 melee damage. But he's got shit for health, though. That's just really odd that they have such high melee, but they don't have very high health. Hmm. Okay. Well, can we make a saddle? Uh, yeah, we can. And we're going to need 25 metal ingots, though. Okay. Well, um, let's take Barry Berkman back with us, then. Um, and I'm going to have to harvest out some metal. In fact, you know what? Maybe I'll do that right now while we have some river rocks handy. Because I don't have 25. I don't think I have enough metal for 25 ingots back at the base. So, uh, I'm going to do that, guys. And then I think... Um, I think I'll wrap up the episode here, and then in the next episode, we'll take uh, Barry Berkman out, get him leveled up a little bit. We'll keep, um, we might continue to take Masarita with us for the time being, too, just because she's so tough, you know? In fact, let's even give her some more health. Uh, but the plan is to go that direction and see if we can find some crystal so that we can make an, a spyglass in a water jar in the next episode. Okay, so thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.